So we've been working on the saga, and when you're working on a big thing like the saga, kind of like climbing a big mountain. And sometimes when you're climbing a big mountain, you hit a switchback like these, and it makes you turn and go back the way you came from for a while before you can turn again and keep going up towards the pass or the peak. And sometimes game development is like that too, especially when you are working on a big expansion of a game that you really didn't design originally for that big expansion. And so there are a number of things that we've found that don't really work quite right <laughs> uh, as we're getting into the saga. So we're gonna look at a couple of those today. First of all, start a new game. You get the Learn to Hunt quest, Hunt 2L, which makes sense when you're new to the game and you're just starting out. But you know, once you raise some pups in the saga and they learn to hunt with their natal pack, their birth pack. And so why, when they disperse and are two years old, why do they have to learn to hunt all over again? Doesn't really make sense. So this one I think is pretty straightforward. Having dispersed, now you have to learn to hunt alone or survive alone, something like that. Another thing is wolf names. We used a very complicated technical system for naming rival wolf packs. Put the pack name and uh, start with one and go up from there. You know, this is following the well-known KISS policy. Keep it simple, stupid. And, you know, it works fine if you expect players are going to play the game a couple times, but we should have known better about Wolf Quest players by then. A good number of our players play the game more than a few times. And after a few rounds, that naming system just doesn't make any sense at all. So we are revising that, but this is one of those things where you pull on a thread and you unravel a whole sweater. And so for the past six months, Raul has been rebuilding the pack system to be much more dynamic and naturalistic. And that does include wolf names, wolf number names that make sense in the large larger scheme of a dynamic and changing year-to-year -year pack system. So we'll have a dev vlog on that pretty soon when it's ready to show. Okay, aging up. This is uh, maybe the most glaring example of a design element that would have been different if we had designed and produced the entire game with the saga included before even releasing it. If we'd done that, it would not have even occurred to us to offer an option to stay the same age and not age up. Like, why would you even think of that? You're living the life of a wild wolf. Every year you get older. But when we added age perks a couple of years ago, it did seem unfair to force players to age up and lose perks that they really wanted to keep. But with the saga now, with the saga, time really has to keep progressing. Are your pups just going to be frozen at age one or age two? So really just wanted to remove that feature. It just makes no sense. But it's hard to take features away from players. And so after some discussion and uh, some passionate input from some players, we realized that we really did have to keep that option. So Tommy came up with a, a decent solution. If you choose not to age up, then no wolves that are age two or older will age up either. All adult wolves will be frozen at whatever age they were at that point. The pups will keep growing because it would just be really weird and frustrating to have them frozen in time as well. So you can keep progressing in that way. But once they reach adulthood, they also will be frozen in time until you decide to age up again at your birthday. So you can age up, choose not age up year to year, make a decision and uh, do that however you want. And the world will react in a reasonably appropriate way. I still uh, honestly don't like this. It's pretty weird. And again, it's something we would never have done if we designed and built the game to completion before releasing it. But, ah, uh, well, that's how it goes. Okay, one more. White coats. We like to model our wolf coats on real wolves in Yellowstone, and they range in age from three to eight or even older, which means that some of them have gone white or whitish. Having those options for players to choose from when creating a new wolf gives a nice realistic variety of coats, although a little weird and incorrect in that you always start off as a two-year-old wolf, but you can, you know, start as a dark wolf and then change it to a, a wolf with a lighter coat if you want to emulate the actual progression. But it gets a lot worse after we added the family tree and let players create a grown-up version of their pup. Those are definitely age two. And so why do some of them have white coats? It just makes no sense. <sighs> so, yeah. Uh, we have some vague ideas on how to handle this better, but it gets even more complicated because there's also the way that all wolves just get to some extent grizzled with age, like humans. And that would be really cool to do. We'd love to do that, but it gets even more complicated in terms of the textures and having alternate textures or age textures and have it gradual. And then you hit a lot of these texture memory and it just, it gets really complicated aesthetically, technically, performance impacts, the whole shebang. So we have vague ideas about all these that we hope to get to at some point, but I don't know what we'll do and I don't know when we'll get to it. So those are just a few of the things we've been grappling with or realizing we'll have to grapple with at some point as we make good progress on the core saga stuff. It still is a ways out. It's a big mountain we're climbing, but we're gonna make it. It's just gonna take a while yet. We'll keep updating in the dev vlogs here, so stay tuned.